Okay. Zikros Tower it is. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to Chosen One in a bit. But, um... Yeah, you can literally just pop in the middle of a fight to be rest. And... You can't get through that any other way. You can also pay to have higher... Uh, stats. You Normally, your character's made based on a particular stat pool. But if you pay, you go up to a larger stat pool. Um, and all sort of this microtransaction bullshit. Um, so many games have that, and it's annoying. This has it. Certainly, like, the retainers. That's bullshit, too. Makes it the most costly MMO to subscribe to. Because you really need the retainers if you want to do mark, uh, market work well. Let us be off. Care! <laughs> um, it's the most expensive thing to subscribe to. Uh, like normally it's 12, 13, but with this it's best part of 24 euro. Need to get do some training on Gannet to um, clean him up. Really, I think I would want to get into a um, a free company. They have, um, I think, it'd be better than the apartment complex uh, sta stables. All right, let's keep going. Puxio. Puxio? Seriously. Oh, Zero V. Is the Stonehearted Sylph tasked with taking new sprout of Sylph bulbs away from the seabed for tempering? The first step in stopping the uh, new generation brainwashed Sylphs. Never mind. There's not a dungeon later on in the game that looks a lot like this one. Maybe it's a revisit of this one. I've only seen like um, some like song of it. Everyone I'm in the party with went this way. Some of the other group went th this way and the other way. It doesn't matter. It all connects. Can I move? No, this is sad as far as I can tell. I could adjust it when in the settings, but I'm in the middle of a massive melee right now. So many spell effects going off, I can't see shit. There, that's less painful.
Okay, we have to gradually fight our way up these tiers. Silica. I've heard that name for My hounds hunger for man flesh. I want to say that is there's a IRL person by that name. May may need to change turn off turn down combat effects. Looks grand, but uh just out tabs. Uh checking audio bounce and the like. Ooh, it looks all cool and flashy, but it does get a little in the way of seeing actual enemy attacks. Takes me a moment to discern them. Was I just like a step off? <sighs> a step off. Ah, uh, Sylvie. Transform into an armor. No. Scorch your insolent hides, my hound. Hounds grow silent. Finally, I may rest. Ooh. I got an from Ramu. Uh, read, sure. Archia. Uh, Archeron? Okay. Now, oh, went down easy enough. I think he's a tail swipe. May not want to stand right behind Doga Doga's clone? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, the, remember the others that came to us to uh, like go deal with these. There's They do have clones in here of them. Uh, they, they were clones of legendary people. These are also clones of these legendary people, but uh, those two went went uh, rogue. They embodied, I guess, more the will or the true spirit of the former selves. That or the plot twist is that they actually aren't clones or somehow are actual the others still there or whatever. It's like I was just pretending to be cloned. This that is a health and safety nightmare. You who draw very steel against the Emperor, you shall not pass as long as I draw breath. Well, that is the uh, kind of plan. Oh wait, that was a waste. And that was missed on. Oh well, still a bit. Doesn't help that not all boss uses bosses use the same icons to warn you of like telegraphed or stuff. So, when you aren't familiar with all the abilities everyone has, that can throw you a little off. Obviously, it's kind of clear, you know, what wouldn't be a player's. But sometimes it still just throws me, it takes me a moment to click it. Eggman's Pro Protocols, and charging NG stores.
that defenses that my defenses could be breached. Soka's boot a uh, boots of healing. Greed. Slikers? Hmm, I have no idea. Well, this is going a lot quicker than anticipated. Jesus. Q, 10 hour wipe. Like, see, that throws me off. I keep thinking that's an enemy move, but no, that's, that's friendly. I kind of like the look of the dragons in this. Just like the general physique. I know, it kind of looks right to me in some way. Hmm. Grand and opulent. Quite right. Amon. My my, such unruly guests. Do it seem a little diversion is in order? You could say the curtain has fallen. Come, come! <laughs> oh no! Not come, come! How do you even say that? I was thinking as much. Curtain call. Blech. I'm not getting on stage. I think it's similar. Remember when we were frozen in ice? I think that final flare, or when I was frozen, I think that final flare thing actually did less damage because I was frozen in ice. There might be a point in freezing yourself intentionally during the fight. Closer to it. Conceivable. Beware, your majesty. Danger approaches. Uh, Guardians help him striking. Greed. Algan Catalyst. Oh, need on this, I guess. Um, there might, you might have been meant to, like, dive into it to, to get frozen. To not die to the flare. While there we had to hide behind the powers. You find boundary mortals, but to no avail. Absolute darkness draws nigh. Soon it will be unleashed and all shall return to nothingness. Emperor Zandi? Or a cannon.
Ooh. I was scared that I was fucked. I wasn't in protection circle. Mine is the power of darkness. Even the stars bent to my will. Shit. Burning rave. Damn, damn you. Put the combo up for nothing. I think that was the uh, Limit Breaks building. I'm not seeing the Limit Break bar anymore. Were they removed? Yeah, let me move. Actually, wasn't there a show Rave Master or something? I remember seeing like half an episode of it once in the middle of like some dramatic fight. I oh, feel the circus. Da 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 da. Uh, healers always get it because they've had to put up with me. Uh, greed. Shit, shit. Was I not meant to need? No, oh, well, someone else did. Mm. What's the sleeve? What's the sleeve? What's the sleeve? What's the sleeve? I'm not sure on what's kosher. Uh, like, do you need on toys? Do you agree? Because what if I if I need, I get it, and it's like shit. Was I not meant to? If if I greed, I will probably not get it because someone else did. And it's like shit. What do you do? I don't know what's tradition. Ah, oh, forget about it. It's fine. Drum Karen. You did it. You defeated em Emperor Zandi. Em empires may rise and fall, but man's... I can't quite pronounce that. In the figure... cannot pronounce that, and I feel like if I try to pronounce it, I'm going to end up sliding in slightly into saying a word that's somewhat taboo. Uh, every, uh, sp uh man's spirits ever lives on. Truly you are the champion we had hoped for, Drum Koran told us. Uh, with Emperor Zandi now at eternal rest, his dark legacy may be undone. Uh... What are you playing at now, Nero?
Things you have noticed, Garwan, these are dangerous rounds. Can a man be faulted for exercising due caution? At any rate, you needn't mind me. I'm perfectly capable of looking after myself. Go on and finish what you came to do. There are two ways that we may steal off the Cyclops Tower. Either isolated from the outside world or crippled ability to produce energy. Uh, the ch uh, choice of method is yours to make. Before we proceed, however, Doga and I must attend, attend to a task. That distortion. What is it? The power that Zandi sought to, uh, to search sort to obtain comes from the void, the world of darkness, or people called it Kingdom Hearts. And the true nature of that power was none other than the armies of Void Sent. Void Sent feed on Aether, as you may already know. No plane is richer in it than ours. In exchange for the regions, Andy entered into an unholy covenant, to open a gate through which the Void Sent could freely enter our world. The Governor and Fred say it's still in effect. However, being of the Emperor's lineage, Unai and I believe that we can annul it. By his blood, Zandi sealed his dark pact, and by our blood shall it be undone. It is time. Yes, Toga. Finally, we may fulfill our promise. <laughs> oh, be still my beating heart. For a moment I'd feared that this outing would end in disappointment, but my readings were not mistaken. Not even the ultimate weapon compares to this. What are you going on about? The Covenant is everlasting. Sauron. Huh. Bizarro iterations of them. He just looks so sad for a moment there. And so Mercidia is brought into the fold. Soon all the world should be united under Algan rule. And yet, with every dream that becomes reality, the memory of death grows ever more vivid, and then this void be left of light and warmth. Though I may have been uh, may have defeated that, it did not leave me unscathed. Nay, its ravening claws have scarred my soul for eternity. Never shall I know peace. Beings without will, you cannot fathom my rage, my melancholy, my fear. Well, war is wealth and power when all must inevitably be consigned to nothingness. Man has nothing, he need not know the pain of loss. So let there be nothing. However, small power, let the gate be thrown out full open. Let the cloud of darkness come and engulf the world, devouring all life, hopes, and dreams. Let it all be returned to nothingness. Honestly, the echo seems sometimes to be more of a hindrance. It's not great with its timings. 
Drum Coran, pull yourself together. Is there no end to them? What in the seven hells is happening? Ugh, not now, damn it. <laughs> Not sure what that lip puckering was about, but sure. Hey, leave the hot old guy alone. <laughs> nice. Nero, were they part of your grand plan too? Hard way. Save your jibes, Garand. I wouldn't. I didn't put up with your arrogant face to play with worthless clones. Something controls them. A void sent an ordinary one at that. Toga. Confound it, without them there's no way to master the darkness. That power is mine. <laughs> Nero! That does look kind of goofy. The Covenant shall be honored. I am the Cloud of Darkness. I shall devour your light and return this world to the Void. Damn it! The rift is gone. What are we supposed to do now? As much as it pains me to leave without them, there's little precious we can do. Let us return to the find and consult Rambros. Can't fly here, but at the very least, it's a very small zone. Oh, it's, uh, okay. It seems like yeah, it it is perfectly fine to give it to someone else. Whatever. I was just wondering, like, what did... You know, I can... Wow, it's, it gives you, um... When you're in a guild, it sends achievement procs to the guild. Achievement tanks to the guild. I was just wondering, what did it do here for the novice group? <laughs> Social interaction. I'll head back over to the other guys and do their thing in a sec. All this happened within the tower? God's preserve. The rift that manifested for the throne was a void gate. Of this I am certain. There exists myriad kind of void scent. The more powerful the being, the larger the gate must be for it to pass through. It would seem that Zandi sought to open a gate of unprecedented proportions. Wouldn't that allow this, vo this cloud of darkness entry into our world? 
Fortunately for all mankind, he did not succeed. Should you imagine what that this void scent is capable of? However dreadful it may be, we cannot abandon our friends. Is there no way to save them? I will not lie to you, Master Garand. The situation is bleak. Garland. Though void scent can enter our world, instances, instances of men entering the void have never been documented. Means me to give voice to my fears, but we do not know whether our friends still live. Damn it. I feel so helpless. No, I refuse to give up. Let's save Doga and Uni. We share the same mind, it's true, but this is not what that is not what motivates me. Above all, I wish to help them fulfill their mission. A mission whose burden they have borne for thousands of years, and besides we cannot leave matters as they are. As long as Zandi's Dark Covenant is binding, our world is in danger. This is our duty to prevent the worst from coming to pass. Grah, ever since meeting Uni and Doja, you're not being quite yourself. Tell me true, it's all well with your eye? I honestly cannot say. I only know that there is a memory I must recall. As a child, my father told me that the truth of her eyes rests with Alag. That still eludes me, but one day I will find it. I'm with Graha. However, some of the odds, we must try to save Uni and Doja. I and that bastard Nero as well. I want to make certain he won't make any more mischief. You have the right of it. But we've n uh, though we've known them but briefly, Doja and Uni are comrades. We cannot fail them. I should consult experts and literature both. I swear to leave no stone unturned. Honestly, you probably have to go to insane occultists. The kind of people who would want to open a void gate to jump through. Yet, no, that will be well before we're ready to act. I would ask that you be all be patient. When dealing with the void, one cannot be cautious enough. My thanks again for your assistance. Pray rest now while you can, for when the time comes to go after our friends, you must be at no less than full strength. We'll save them yet, Trumpgren. Mark my words. And this is like, that will be all the like, next path shit. That's what he passed. The world of darkness. Rombros is, has a furrowed brow and the look of one with ill tidings. Ah, drunk Crane, it's good to, uh, good you are come. I have news that y uh, news you must be made aware of. Uh, it's none of it bodes well for us, nor for Uni, Doja, and Nero imprisoned in the Dark Realm. Think back on our last four into Secros Tower, if you will. The calamity stirred the, the place from its long sl slumber and woke Emperor Zandi. But you, Drumcran, you uh, ensured he was laid to rest permanently. Yet the Emperor had, a had sealed a binding contract with the terrible voids in known as Cloud of Darkness. And as Doja and Uni labored to annul this contract, the entity reached through a void and dragged the pair of man Nero out of our realm. Since that day, Noah has devoted itself to rescuing Uni, Doja, and Nero from the beyond the rift. Research, however, exposed a far more dire problem. The Crystal Tower still acts under Zan Emperor Zandi's orders and collects energy to open another void gate even as we speak. Indeed, the place night hums with energy. We've done all we can to stop the Imperial Edict, but to no avail. This is the gate would only open for Uni and Doja, so too will the tower heed only those with the raw blood of Alahak. This is most, a most galling design. Granted, this was not always so vexatious, according to the Algan tombstone Nero presented with us. Through the Golden Age of Alahak, the, the royalty had some means of bestowing their blood upon others. If they hadn't such a technology, Amon and his underlings could never have controlled the Crystal Tower. But we do not have this art, nor any with raw blood. Every moment we wait, a vast rift through which the Code of Darkness can enter our realm trends to open. Such a disaster cannot come to pass. We must steal the Crystal Tower and annul Zandi's co covenant with the Dark Realm. If only breaking the latter would suffice. But then what are the energy building the Crystal Tower? What does the pressure that power could discharge and cause calamity like to the one that destroyed Alag? In truth, we have more than just three lost compatriots to worry about. If we do not act, our very world will fall before the might of this threat. 
We know but one way out of this predicament. Rescue those who control the power from beyond the Dark Realm and shut the ra rift uh, and see the rift shot after them. And mercifully, not all of our news is quite so bleak. Tis true we can't stop the void gate from manifesting within tower, but that this too can be to our benefit. We can use Sucrose's power for our own purposes and create a portal carry on us into the Dark Realm. We have heard this is possible from a man from the Terminator's Guild well versed in otherworldly matters. Will Master Garland work and create said portal? Final preparations are well underway. Ah, and here comes the man himself. Drumcred, just the man we need. Yes, our fellowship is indeed complete, and all parties privy to our strategy. And you, Master Garland, how far is your endeavours? Quite well. The device is nearly ready, though attaching the damnable tank to Sucrose Tower took every ounce of ingenuity the Ironworks got. Excuse me. But it should produce the energy we need. Just a little more fine tuning, we can open a rift. I'm here to request your presence at the tower. I'll leave Biggs and Wedge at the Eight Sentinels as guides, and do hurry, Drum Karen. I'm sure you wouldn't miss another chance to save the world, would you? Actually, this guy, despite the grey hair and everything, he's actually a thirties or something? Thereabouts? So he isn't quite old, he's just got the silver fox look without being one. Best of both worlds. Uh, well, since certainly seems to have a firm hand on the helm. Shall we make our way to the Crystal Tower? Oh yeah, there's the defenses that shoot anyone that tries to fly, isn't that it? In this case, it's just a fucking invisible wall. Just gonna turn my fan on for a bit. It's actually quite cold. Apparently tonight it's gonna go down to minus four, according to Mum. Celsius. Minus four Celsius. Um... So, yeah, it's quite cold. Keep in mind while you may be thinking, oh, it's colder here. May very well be. Just. colder. You know, it's just. I'm not used to it. Well, I'm not great with it. So. It's Ireland. It's always cold and wet, but it's. To varying degrees. Chief, as she filled you in on the plan, Drumcren, home that void gate will be real feed for the ironworks. But I'm worried about what comes after. Never heard of anyone going through a rift to let them go coming back. And we're outside the again stuck there ourselves. Drumcren, I bet you're here to watch us pry open a rift between the worlds, eh? We're almost ready. Sucrose Tower's full of engineers scurrying about and making adjustments. We're dealing with a lot of power, and if one coupling's off, well, boom. <laughs> but it should be fine, really. Anyway, the best way to the top. Chief's there overseeing the whole operation. Should have more security here in case it opens up and fucks anyone over. <laughs> Couple of clones come out, kick people off the tower. Ooh, would not want to clean that up. Sadly, I don't think the tower's tall enough that you just burn up. My friends, you've arrived, and I'm just waiting for my engineers to give the signal. Then we will see if we can open a gateway to another world. Hmm, it's something amiss, Gra. Ah, Emperor's Andy's throne. What might have fallen, eh? Once it stood as a symbol of Al 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 Alag's art and power. Now it's none more than an empty chair. Just imagine if. Our Al civilization lived on, and a just emperor st is still sat on that throne. How different would our history be? How much further we would we have advanced? Fortune is no stopping Zandi and his ambition. There, there were those who tried. 
Zandu's war of domination left no one unscathed. Unable to abide the horrors inflicted on the people, warriors, young and brave, took up the sword against Alag. These men and women became beacons of hope to those who had suffered. Not unlike the warriors of light in our age. But all this merely hastened to destruction. Just as they moved towards Alex heart for the kill, Zandu lashed out in anger and frustration, tra as trapped beasts are wont to do. In his desperation, Zandu desired that a rift be opened to hasten Dark Cloud's opening. To this end, he commanded the sun's power held within Dalmond be emptied into Sucrose Tower at, w all at once. This act brought terrible consequences. The only was that the blast of ice flo flooding the ground land below with energy. Sucrose was swallowed by the very earth upon which it once stood. Fort Umbral Calamity. I'd learned of its cause. I'd learned of its cause from Uni and Doja. No idea that rebellion incited Zandi to rashness, though. Your knowledge of Algan history is a standard graph. Why, a man could study for two lifetimes and only learn half of what you know. Hint, hint. He has memories of a past life. Or lives. Hmm, may mayhap. It is strange, though. Can't seem to remember where I learned such things. Probably because he is a uh, spiritual su successor to one of those rebels. Or something, you know? Genetic memory... You know, some mystical bullshit. <laughs> mystical bullshit, it's a good answer. Snake here. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes? Ah, Biggs, are you ready? Ready and raring to go... Uh, re ready and raring to open that void gate, Chief. We reckon when the machine's up and running, we should be able to float five airships the size of... Agrius. So give us the word, and we'll start channeling energy into the tower. Good. Then let's get started. Our preparations are complete. Everyone, step away from the trap. Alright, let's see what this machine can do. Now, Biggs. Now, Biggs. Should have more guns at the ready. <sighs> a rift to the world of darkness, as Uni called it. Spend the work, Master Garland. We can't break t uh, out the me uh, can't break out the mead just yet. Tough parts to add. Broken into the dark realm, but the gate's not uh, not all that stable. Once they open forever, and only a few can use it. I, for one, will remain here to ensure the void gate stays open. As would sons of Saint Kynark. Uh, this rift is so our so uh, path to salvation. If it closes, we are all truly lost. Which leaves Strom Kren. My friend, it's a heavy burden I must task you with, but there are none more able. Pray lead the adventurers beyond the, uh, beyond the rift. I do not know what awaits you, save the cloud of darkness and a tree comrades, but you must go, for the fate of the wall now rests upon your shoulders. This is our only gambit, but of every fate you will succeed. It will be no small feat to return after you pass beyond the rift. Make certain you're prepared before leaving. Might have a moment of your time, Drumcran. There's a matter of import we must discuss ere you leave. Uh, mightn't be a good idea to just leave it open. They, they were far too cavalier with this. Never know. Could have attracted attention of the void. Uh, you know, cover the darkness. Oh, I should have talked to the other one with him. Drumcran, I wish to speak to you about my eye. 
do no doubt aware, it is a trait only seen among Algan royalty. Long have I pondered why such is my inheritance. Sanguine Hugh must have some bearing upon my destiny. This much Doga himself admitted, but what? In truth, the more I learn of the Crystal Tower, the less I am it myself. Somehow meeting those two clones has wrought a great change in me. I'm, consu I'm consumed with remembering something. Something ancient, but ever so important. And my father's words echo my mind. The self-same ones his father told him. The truth of her eye rests with a lag. Perhaps, may so mayhap, what I wish to remember, and these words are related. Mayhap not. But I know I must learn the truth that history hides from me. I would see this journey, our journey, truth to, to the very end with mine own two eyes. So I implore you, allow me to join you beyond the rift. Th you have my thanks, my friend. Now let us venture into the world of darkness, save our comrades, and a realm. Oh, okay, that was a player. All's well, all's well. Didn't really get to say hi to him much, did I? Uh, in the twilight of his reign, the first and last emperor of Alag, Van the Tsar power above all else. He turned to a terrible being known as Cloud Zargon's ruler of the void, asked of her, uh, her strength to make the world kneel before his throne with a covenant of blood. When Zandu was slain, his ambitions were still laid to rest along were laid to rest alongside him. The Cloud of Darkness still seeks passage through the material realm, soon find passage through the void gates set to manifest within Sucro's tower. With the fiends coming, can they vouch of Noah brave the void and rescue tre the tree souls able to stem the clouds the clouds flood of shadows, ruled the expedition itself vanished beyond the rift in the world of darkness. Uh, yeah, I'll join that in a bit. I'll just finish, um, <laughs> I'll head back here and continue escorting this guy. He's been a bit abandoned for the last, you know, hour. I uh, there's one of these end raids. Uh, it's either around these or these uh, that you need to do to actually move on uh, to Heaven's Ward. Dark story. So I'm not sure which. Both seem fucking important, but I have no idea which. Uh, come on, Voco. Voco. Voco's a brave bird, oh yes. God, those mouths freak me out.
Uh, let me check what I said. Hey folks, and I'm back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Zandi card. Use. An accurate representation of the soldiers who once made up the greater portion of the Algan Imperial Army. An Onion Knight. Uh, Onion Knights, I remember, were in Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, I think they had weak stats, but allowed you to equip any type of gear, including, like, say, sex only gear. Or, like, uh, sex restricted gear. Say, like, ribbons, I think, were for only for chicks, but Onion Knights could use them. Um, ribbons are also always brilliant in Final Fantasy games, so you would want one. And typically they make you immune to like all negative effects, which is fantastic. Now I know the truth out of the labyrinth. Oh, I forgot to actually auction these. Whoops. Come on, Voco. Gonna go loco. Uh. Master, look before you. Your royal steed has guided you to the seed bed. The chosen one awaits. Really, I could have done that. <sighs> could that be Kwe? Yes, Master, it's the chosen one's padlet. Damn, it will see him with the chocobo mask on. It will really screw the kid up. <laughs> ah, excellent. Walking one is just in time. These ones have lived in the shadow of walking ones long enough. Chosen one shall choose to uh, shall choose this one to lead these ones into a new era. New era has no place for imperial ones, walking ones, or tra traitorous ones who call these ones friend. All who are not these ones shall perish, and dead ones' blood shall water these ones' forced home. Eh, that doesn't sa sound like it'll smell the best. Like, seriously, your place would stink. You know, the gore and blood of... Kingdoms of people. Probably a good few million. Jeez, there'd be more blood and viscera than... Forest. The logistics, I, I don't think they've taught them true. Hmm? Okay. Okay? Oh, do stick around, Feathered One. After this one deals with Walking One, Roasted Feathered One will make a good feast for these ones. Now, where was this one? Yes, yeah, say your prayers, doomed ones. <laughs> drum, drum, there is a small shock. That fucking worked. That fucking worked. Boss one, look how feathered one is. <laughs> feathered one is walking one. What is the meaning of this? Oh ha! Yes, this was me after all. It will be not calling this one a stupid one anymore. Me thinks. Things run no run run the wrong. Round the right way. With me, my friend. We, will, we must see the chosen one back to little sauce. Ah, how invigorating. Yes, these legs will carry me forever. How could this one be fooled by stupid one? Just hold out your fists. <laughs> it was more gobsmacks than... 
I gotta rescue him now. Uh, who's more gobsmacked than <laughs> that it worked in that nose? Uh, just up here. Not surprising. I got you far enough, eh? Oh, stupid feathery one. Bring Chosen Woman back to this one now. Oh, that's Deluxio dead. Friend, I tried, but my legs will carry me. No further. I beg of you. See the Chosen One. Back to safety. Weep for me. Not Weep not for me, friend. I am but a bumbling one who bumbled until the end. <sighs> See the potting back to safety. You have 50 seconds. We have to go all the way to Little Souls. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is wrong with these game developers? <laughs> uh, imagine doing this at level. You would have to have friends to help you. Cause at level will be 50, so you'll definitely be within these guys' aggro range. And there, you do have leeway with, like, there, the groups aren't that, it's not that tightly packed. It just feels like you will be pulling a lot of fuckers, you know. That is kind of cool, you know, them floating and holding the gate up. That's kind of cool. The one nice thing about Final Fantasy XIV is enemies do have a lower aggro radius behind their back. Though I don't know why they have the like little like alien sign from XCOM there. Or there. It looks like a little like you know sectoid head or something, you know? Like a little alien head, it's a little grey man from Mars. Weird. I'm about to fail. Game. The game. 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 <sighs> <laughs> See this popping back to safety and we've not for this one sacrifice.
God, what were they thinking? Christ is glowing through me. Plot twist. Drom was dead all along. And he didn't even know I was dead. Look, I carry heavier constantly. Why is this such an issue? Trying to do everything in emergency on a hole in production is it's hard work. Fuck off. Fuck off. You want none of this. Wonder is there another time up over There's one right there, fucker. Even then, I nearly made it to the other one. If I'd optimized optimized my route a little more, I would have done so. Random potted plant. Huh. Ah, uh, to use a potted plant in the middle of a forest, but sure. Really, I have to make it all the way back to there. Oh, thank God. It's like to whisk these in just when they know I'm doing the missions. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's gonna be the f first person they it sees. Oh, friend, how I'm delightful I am to see you safe and sound. Myself, no worse for wear, thank you. It's really, well, it's quite curious, but with the burden of the pottery, my recovery was remarkably hasty. <laughs> Fucker. Yes, I dare say I learned much from my numerous near-death experiences. Stay curved so flans, leave the heavy lifting to adventures, and most importantly, keep a close eye on one's journal and undergarments. Now, what say we sit back and witness the dawning of a new era for self-kind? In all the years this one has lived, never once did this one imagine that one would see this day. This one asks, who is the calling one? This one is Frixio, elder of little sauce. This one would welcome chosen one to th these one's family. This one would build a home of peace and tranquility. This one would build up a home of peace and tranquility for these ones, if chosen one would join this one. If that is the elder one's wish, this one is born to answer. Such words are sucker to this one's heart, the chosen one. Oh good, they played it more straight than 
bullshit for the protagonist or comedy route. That's good. And the cycle begins anew. When those ropes look like it's about to break. This place is not up to code! Ah, so you change back. Friend, this one is beside himself in gratitude all for all that you've done. Yes, this one shall draft a full report the Commander of Hooks and all of Gardini uh, may know of Brave One's bravery. Hmm? Yes, it'll appear the local town's rubbed, rubbed off on this one. All the better, I say, for the silver sent warm to this one's presence. Why, for the first time today, I found my under, uh, undergarments and journal exactly where I, le I left them. Okay, I do have to head back to Gardenia now. <sighs> Fetters and Folly. <laughs> he's gonna be uh, repositioned because it's uh, he's gone native. Then again, would anyone really care? <laughs> Ran past because I was looking at my phone. Hey, old friend, your timing could not be better. I just received a report from Voice, relating your exploits in little solace in considerable detail. Why, to think that young man may not only solve a thousand years of prophecy, but single handedly fought off a veritable legion of malefic sylphs to rescue chosen one and secure a, f a future of peace and prosperity for all of kind. Brain and brawls, it's clear I picked the right man for the task. <laughs> worry, worry not, the brave white gig credits where it's due. Yes, he could explain that his ropes would, would have been impossible without your clever chocobo rose, and in, uh, insisted I could on you for your sporting role. Pray stay well in Gardinia and rest your legs. I'm going to slit his fucking throat. I'm gonna ram that chocobo t outfit so far up his ass he'll be spitting feathers. Heading to hill. Yes. I was deciding against it at the last second, but no, uh, I guess we're here now. <laughs> it insisted. Learn by destroying. Steve Ward of a merchantman in trouble. Yeah. I believe this guy's second here. No, you're actually first here. Sue, that's second. Oh, I already had this. Nice. Wait. 
shit. I did these. These were the weaker ones. I could have got six extra points. Uh, 18 extra points yesterday if I'd done the right ones. <sighs> I'm an idiot. So will be. There's none for it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna head back to Gar uh, to Limso Minsa. I'll just dock here. Um, Limso Minsa and check the auctions and do and then check the auctions and I'm gonna actually walk off for today. I'm gonna go play for some WoW because I still I'm on the turret zone of Shadowlands and uh, I. Need to get through that. I think they made it so it auto updates rather than you have to go in and see if I'm sold. So, um, yeah, no, none sold. So, till then, folks. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you join me again soon. Wait, what's this? Yeah, that's Phoenix down. Uh, Oh yeah, the... Well, that was creepy. Uh, buttons in a blanket sold, and sold for quite a bit. They are actually shockingly popular. Uh, here, let's let's make some more up before I go. B-U-T-T-O-N. Buttons in a blanket. Kenji Hunt loves them. Like... God fucking damn. So I can really mark them for any price I want since there's nothing here. Might say 2k. But anyway, button mushroom. So if I want. Hmm. Price on these is ridiculous. I wish I knew what the price I had paid for them previously was. Uh, okay, a thousand three hundred. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. I couldn't. I would have to pay a charge like five grand for it. No. No. This is off limits. It's like Jesus Christ. Them thing to peel away the layers what makes this plush print so glum will leave you with less than you started out with, as well as a mess of fabric. Okay, sock up onions, go for next to nothing. He would die for you, poss or possibly cry for you, but more like, most likely, make you cr you cry for you. Hmm. Uh. Okay, I'm going to do something stupid. I'm just going to weigh up the volcanic rock salt and the Cyclops, uh, Cyclops onions and the crystals. Uh, if I sell it for, like... Oh, there. I'll buy them. I'll sell, sell for three grand. No one will care.
Uh, got 17 on me. Uh, good for him. Uh, good for Podrick. kind of made a hames of this. Oh well. Gotta move on if you keep regretting the past. find the wrong ones. Should have checked. Mistakes were made. I was wondering why I didn't see what was going on, but I was thinking, ah, I must have just missed saw it. I'm making the aims of everything today. Ugh. Wait, stop. Uh, get the more chicken. Get more chicken stock. Okay. Uh, which of my guys has it? Cole Garot has a ton. Cole Garot. Wish I could mass select them and send them back. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, who was the other guy with some? Uh, Talgar, Talmora, Talmora. Don't have anyone go Talgar. No, <laughs> that is mine. Forgot, forgot you existed, mate. Apologies. Thinking that looked like one of mine, but I was like, ah, oh, I don't have a towel guy. Boy, is my face red. So much on there is waiting to be sold. Still at 81. <laughs> Whoops. Uh. All right. Well, I'll be back in a moment. Hey, <clears throat> hey, folks, and I'm back. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And since this, I a fair bit of this. Uh, ran out of onions again. Do you believe that's what happened previously? Wait. There we go. There's seven again. That's done. 
Uh, you. I saw someone with a similar name earlier. No, there's no way in hell I'm running into someone from uh, when the group shows in. Uh. Mm. Actually, you know, while I'm here, venture report. Reassign. Reassign. Uh, assign venture. What on the exploration? Go get it done. We really should get back to um, leveling my gathering professions. Force habit. I realized ha around halfway true that I was sending them. I could send them on higher tier ones now, but I decided, "Fuck it, we'll just stay the course." Uh... I feel like I'm forgetting something. Not sure where it sells yak milk. Um, a tradition, a traditional Isgardi Isgardian cake made of several stacked layers, tapered to resemble some owl, a peak sacred to the Varians. Isgardians believe that the Varang Mountain will grant them fortune in their struggles against uh, struggle with the dragons. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this here. I sincerely hope you've, you, uh, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you join me again soon. Till then, love and peace, baby. The music threw me off. There was a notification or something. <laughs>